Hi everyone, my name is Tegan, welcome back to Tandy Rights. Today we're going to be talking about something that is very exciting, and not least to me. This is another um, self-publishing process video, so I don't know how many people care about this, but this is something very exciting to me. So I've recently been on a journey of trying to work out which online service is the best, or at least the most accessible for authors for self-publishing. I will mention that this is specifically self-publishing hardbacks. So I spent some time, I started off on lulu.com which seemed to be like the most popular one that came up so they have they have these hardbacks they have both like this traditional like no linen jacket hardback and they also have linen jacket linen wrap they say and they also have ones that do have dust jackets which is fun but my thing about lulu is that they have very limited sorry i'm just covered in hair they have very limited size options for their books. These are both 6 by 9 inches, which I believe is US trade size. UK trade size is a little bit smaller and it's more like the tr traditional paperback size. So I've been on a hunt, trying to find a service that has, first of all, more size options. Second of all, Lulu hardbacks seem to um, although there are low costs for ordering proof copies and author copies, um, the cost for the reader to buy the book was not really high but a bit inaccessible when I know it can probably be done cheaper somewhere else. And this is the case where I, um, I, I don't really care about making a profit off these books because this, this book in particular, this one right here, it came out in 2017. Like I'm not making my money off this book. So I was looking around and I've been waiting for years for Amazon's KDP slash like create, it used to be called CreateSpace. I've been waiting for years for that service to release a hardback option and I don't know when this happened because although I do check this website very frequently because it's how I publish my ebooks and my paperbacks, they have recently added the hardback option. It's a beta like test version and it's like this kind of no dust jacket hardback so as much as i want to commit to boycotting amazon they just they're just the way to go for self-publishing at least for me it seems so this is a proof copy of the hardback so is that my got my address on it this is a proof copy of the hardback so we're going to open it up and have a look and see how this is the box is open <laughs> so okay this is this is so first of all, first impressions, it, it's great, <laughs> especially compared to all the compare sizes. Compared to the Lulu one, they are pretty much identical. Amazon also obviously has like their um, proof copy thing going across, but they, it is slightly smaller. You can't really tell that much, but it's, it is a lot closer to, it's a lot closer to UK size. I don't remember what's, I think this is A5, I believe. So looking at it, if I compare to Luli, because they are the exact same cover, um, the Amazon colours are a bit more washed out, they're slightly less crisp. Like, I can't tell, it's slightly washed out. And you can see on the back that the text is kind of, it's very nitpicky, but it's kind of fuzzy around the edges. But obviously because this is a smaller copy, there are more pages, so this is... Um, noticeably thicker than this. They do like just touching them and touching the pages, they do just feel like similar quality. I should say that the big thing about Huddle, getting proof copies is also really, is just always really exciting. But the big thing about the Amazon ones is to, if I put these up for sale, these would be like minimum 20 something pounds and these start at 14 pounds which is um, a lot more accessible for my audience. Um, you're technically getting more pages out of it because it's smaller. And I, it's a thing where I'm always torn because it's Amazon. And we do not like Amazon. But they just keep doing, they have, in my opinion, for my needs, they have a great self-publishing service. That's very upsetting. So this is just a very, this isn't even a good review, this is a rough review. Just because at the moment Amazon also only offers this service, but the service is in beta. 
But basically what I'm saying is that these are pretty much the same, they feel the same, they feel the same quality, which is, I think, surprisingly decent. It's like the paperbacks that they're not obviously <coughs> the best, most expensive quality, but they're pretty good. The quality between them is pretty much identical. Amazon has... There, there's a, there's a size comparison. Amazon has more sizing options for hardback. They offer... Um, the printing costs start out lower so you can obviously sell them for cheaper or you can make them the same price as, as these but make more profit. And I think the final thing is that Amazon, it was easier for me to upload the interior PDF with the Lulu ones. It just didn't let me <laughs> for a newer version, not this version, for a newer version of the book. It wouldn't let me because a font that I didn't actually use in the file wasn't embedded so it wouldn't let me, whereas Amazon just ignored that and it just embedded it for me. So I think the Amazon service is also a lot more accessible. Also it's great because it means that all my books will now be on one place and one account because if I went with the Lulu option I would have ebooks and paperbacks on Amazon or on KDP specifically and then I would have the hardbacks on Lulu whereas if I go this route I can have all my stuff in one place. So I think that's a summary. But if I'm basing with this, I will probably, I will probably keep pursuing self-publishing through Amazon for hardbacks, unless I specifically want a dust jacket version, where I believe that Lulu is the only option I've tried so far, but it seems to be the most popular, obviously not necessarily the best, but it seems to be the most popular option. But I think in terms of accessibility, sizing options, price options, Amazon might again reign supreme. And again, I want to be sad but it just happens to be the most convenient thing for me. So it's like I can either continue boycotting Amazon or I can continue pursuing a self-publishing career. Which is a <sighs> big dilemma, big dilemma. But anyway, that's all I have to say about this. It's just a rough video because the service is still pretty new. It has it's the same way you set up ebooks and paperbacks. So there's nothing new to talk about in regards to that. It's just oh the other thing, they have less sizing options than the paperbacks. So you you also can't do like square hardbacks. So I, if I wanted to self-publish my photography book, I wouldn't be able to do it through this service yet. But obviously it's still a very new thing. And this is just, this is, this is early stages. I hope that they will um, add like dust jacket options in the future. But obviously this is a very good start and it is the same if not slightly better quality than something that's been around for a lot longer. That's all I have to say on that. I just, I really love having physical copies of my book. It makes me because the thing about being a self-published author is that you don't have like the big author experiences book launches and a fan base and any kind of engagement with the book so the one thing that I do get that everyone else gets is just having a physical copy <coughs> and that's exciting anytime okay so that is all I have to say for that thank you for watching and I hope to see you next time bye